There are many over-the-top drones, which have become menacing tools for the controller. But who really controls these machines, and what is their intent? Furthermore, automation will inevitably overtake the future battlefield. We've already seen drones have swarm capabilities, and one can only imagine the potential of a weaponized drone in a military application. Luckily for this video, most of the drones have limited automation. But it's definitely going to be very shocking to see what's developed within the next 10 years. The first drone we'll look at is the M72. Naval has introduced a very extreme 66mm single-use anti-tank weapon, which is effective against a range of targets including armored vehicles, personnel, or even lightly fortified structures. The drone does rely on GPS and is directly controlled through video feed. Maximum range is around a couple miles, with firing range around a couple hundred feet. But the drone's traveling distance will be dramatically increased in the future. Moving on, we get to the TF-19. There is now a functional $1,500 flamethrower attachment available for commercial grade drones. With onboard FPV cameras, the drone can remotely take care of the next zombie invasion without sacrificing operator safety. The flamethrower can hit targets up to 25 feet away or produce a stream of fire for over 100 seconds. Real world applications include ground clearing, power line cleaning, grass management, and getting rid of the local hornet's nest. At number 5, the Anvil. There's a very robust countermeasure to the unwanted flying drone. Anvil steps above its competitors by being completely autonomous thanks to its vision algorithms inputting into the central controller. This central controller, titled the Lattice, coordinates and presents recommended decision supports to the operator. With a click of a button, the Anvil pretty much pursues and obliterates the flying target within mere seconds. It's pretty much a flying block with its propellers and flight controller positioned well below the impact point. And hopefully the target drone doesn't fall on any civilians. At number 4, the Switchblade. There are a few impressive projectile hybrid drones out there, and the Switchblade is no exception. Small enough to fit in a backpack, the Switchblade launches from a tube, flies to the target area, and crashes into its target with an explosive warhead. Constructed by Aero Environment, the drone can fly up to 100 miles per hour for around 20 minutes. As for communication, target coordinates are instantly transmitted to the drone and video feed is sent back to the ground station. The flying projectile has autonomous capabilities, but it can also be flown manually as well. Luckily, this one is just strictly for military use. Drones can now break and enter into your local residence. With a tungsten carbide breaker, the lemur can break through tempered, automotive, and even most residential glass. It is definitely a flying squad machine, but it also could save lives in a fire scenario. Other features include a 10 hour purging time for video recording, a turtle mode for flipping itself over, and a package delivery system. The lemur S also has night vision, a loudspeaker, and a door pusher for those tricky areas. This one doesn't really have a name, but you can now have your own mini automated air force with the drone magazine modified for drones. Depicted on multiple social media accounts, this commercial drone has the ability to hold and drop multiple mortar shells. It was built by a Dutch company, and already it has been prototyped in several scenarios. However, this is not the first time a drone has been outfitted with this kind of thing, and the future war zone may be completely automated with the last remaining robot winning. So we have seen a lot of weird concepts out there and this taser wielding drone is probably one of the weirdest ones. Axon has produced some very crazy tasers so it's no surprise that they're even contemplating this idea. But there are many questions still remaining on who controls the drone, what safety measures does it have and is there any training involved. But one has to question whether or not these things are just producing more variables which leads to a very unpredictable scenario. We get to number one and Duke Robotics has made one of the first drones armed with a lightweight firearm. Designed with a lightweight real-time 6 degrees of freedom gimbal, the firearm has multiple angles of attack. Luckily this one is remotely operated and it doesn't have automation as of yet. It can engage with troops or lead precision strikes without the need for intrusive action. The Octocopter is definitely one of the most controversial platforms, but it will likely be part of the massive $21 billion drone market by 2026. We can also expect more automated measures in the future, so this is definitely going into a very unpredictable trajectory. 
But more importantly, I'd like to know what you think about all this. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.